Hi, so I'm back here behind my bird pen with my chickies in an area where there's lots of plantain and you can see the chickies are enjoying the plantain and other native herbs that are back here. And plantain is a tribe of the figwort family. Now that wasn't always the case. It, it was its own botanical family. Uh, but it was combined into the figwort family along with a few other families because of the genetic uh, makeup of the flower. So uh, it was, it was uh, reclassified. And it is a perennial and it also throws a lot of seed and I think you can see the seed stalks. They're tall and spiky and this is the time of year when it's uh, throwing the seed and it is very common it's just as common to the dandelion as the dandelion is here for me here on my farm and i think to that end a lot of the co more common herbs are kind of overlooked for herbal uses for uh, other herbs but plantain is very useful and the whole plant can be used the root the leaves and the seeds and the two uses that I use them for, for poultry, are for nutrition. And they have a lot of vitamins in it for A, C, and K. And I just let my birds eat it on range like they are here today. And I think it's better fresh than dried because of the mucilaginous uh, uh, makeup of the leaves. And to that end, with the mucilage and the saponins in the leaf, it is a very soothing digestive aid. So, if you may want to think of using plantain, say if you typically use marshmallow, and it can work just as well. So it's good as a nutrition, nutritious food and a digestive aid. And also, I use it for. It can be used topically for wounds and cuts. And I think a lot of us know of the uh, drying capabilities of plantain uh, because of the information given to us by the Native Americans to the pioneers for snake bites and drying out snake venom. And this was very useful to the pioneers because they were moving west and moving into very wild areas. So they encou encountered a lot of snakes and, you know, had a lot of snake bites. So plantain enjoyed a popularity uh, because of that application, that use, which is more common in that era than it is now. But it's still good to know because if you, you know, apply it to wounds and cuts, it's still good to know of that drawing capability. And perhaps you may need to use it to draw out toxins from a snake bite or other things, you know, to draw out those, that kind of thing. So good to know. And so those are the two areas, uh, you know, nutrition and digestive aid and uh, topical for wounds uh, that I've used it for for poultry. And finally, just to maybe take a closer look at the two different species that I have here, which are very common to a lot of us. And probably if you have one, you'll have the other. So the two species are the broadleaf, which is the Plantago major and also the narrow leaf, which is the Plantago lanceolata. And they both work e equally as well um, for the uses that I just mentioned. So that's why I kind of bring up the two species in case you're looking around and you say, oh, that doesn't look like one you showed us in the video. But in fact, uh, they do grow together. And uh, I had a nice little patch over here that had both. Um, so the broadleaf, both of them are very descriptive of what they look like. So the broadleaf, of course, has a broadleaf, and um, it's quite round. And I think the birds like to eat this a little bit more than the narrow because it's a little more tender. You know, the leaf isn't as thick, and so I think birds like, you know, uh, leaves that are real juicy and, and tender. So this is the broadleaf, and the narrow leaf, I know it was here, here it is. <laughs> I looked at this yesterday. So here is a narrow leaf and is a narrow leaf. 
And again, it's, you know, if you feel these plants, you know, you should touch, you know, check them out, you know, rub them between your fingers. And you can feel how soft and smooth they are, and that can tell you that it's full of, it has water in it, it's mucilaginous. And this also, I think it, at the base it's uh, red. So, you know, that's another uh, characteristic of it. So again, this is growing side by side. There's the narrow and there's the broad. And uh, both of these herbs, like I said, work equally well. And they're, it's a very useful plant. And uh, I would recommend that you uh, grow some and have it in your environment and use it for your poultry.